Leave your toilet at home with chocolate spongy cake balls. Made with the most absorbent edible substances that science could find. For the person about town with more liquids than time. Ah, soak it all in. More Two Point, more often. This is Two Point Radio. I visited a sick friend who has taken the foolish decision to check himself into one of Holistic's nature communes. Call me old-fashioned, but patients are supposed to be treated by doctors in hospitals, not have leaves rubbed on them by druids.
Today, I would like to introduce a new segment which I call Two Points of View. In it, I will give you two rather different points of view on a contentious subject. So, for example, view A could be, this is a rather fine idea for a segment, whereas view B would then be, this segment is an embarrassing waste of time. Stay tuned for more of these controversial debates next week.
Hello, hello, hello. Ricky Hawthorne is back on Two Point Radio. I hope you've missed me as much as I've missed you.
you dropped on our floor. Now that's the kind of song I like to listen to when I'm out jogging every morning. I like to run down lower bullocks as fast as I can until I fall to the ground. Good thing there's a few hospitals nearby.
I know you. You've always wanted a place to call your own. Good morning! Somewhere that somehow mixes the cool of the city <laughs> with the calm of the countryside. Welcome to Camouflage Falls. Coming soon to Two Point County. Camouflage Falls. Definitely what we say it is. This is Two Point Radio.
Bungle was forced to close one of its experimental treatment centers this morning after its cybernetic doctors experienced a malfunction and started performing autopsies on all patients. Bungle says the error is being corrected and the centers will reopen soon. This is Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. You'll have to excuse me if I sound a little less effervescent than usual today. It was a bit of a restless night in the Hawthorne household, and I'm afraid I didn't get much sleep. My spaniel, Federico, woke me up in a fit of barking, and when I went to fetch him a bowl of baked beans, that always calms him right down, I noticed a bit of a commotion outside. Seven police cars, two ambulances, and the remains of what I believe one calls a street gang fight. Not a pretty sight, let me tell you. Still, all those blue and red lights certainly did give the street a festive look, and I'm happy to say by this morning, most of the teeth had been hosed away. Now, let's listen to some jolly wake-me-up music.